number 25 finally uh country number 25 is antigua and barbuda uh they're two islands barbuda is up to the north antigua is on the south side and um for the first time i booked a beach resort uh it is very beautiful but i don't know if i'm gonna end up using all the facilities but there's like a pool over there and right beyond the pool there's the beach and the ocean and there's me so today uh, I befriended one of the people who work here his name's Elroy and uh, he offered to drive me around and show me a little bit more of a real Antigua so hope to check that out <laughs> that's right yeah. Salve. yeah man yeah man Antigua Antigua? All the way. All the way? <laughs> yeah. What about Barbuda? Well, I live in Antigua. <laughs> <laughs> so this is the Antiguan flag, right? Yeah. And uh, so you were mentioning to me that the V stands for victory. The V stands for victory. The red symbolizes the bloodshed from our ancestors. Okay. And the white and the, the blue, white? The white, the blue, and the yellow symbolizes the white. The white is for the white sand. The blue is for So these, these pineapples are grown in black soil. Yeah, that's where got it. But it got its name, the anti-black pineapple. And it's kind of hard to tell how small this thing is, but uh, you, you say that they're some of the smallest pineapples in the world. Right. Because they're so small, the flavor gets really concentrated, and these are the sweetest pineapples that's in the world. That's yeah. Uh, peeling it up. Peeling it up. Yeah. See how inside it's all yellow. Nice and sweet. So this is one of the sweetest pineapples in the world, supposedly, right? <laughs> Alright. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. Okay. <laughs> Wow. So, uh, you know, if you've ever had like pineapple juice that's made from pineapple concentrate and how it's like really pineapple pure and pineapple y and then like, like sugary, this is like, this is like eating solid juice, like solid pineapple juice. This is really, it's, a little flat. Oh, yeah, yeah. it's protein, right? Yeah. This is. Holy shit, this is... <laughs> is sugar cane like, like this or like... Oh my god, like it's not acidic at all, like from the pineapple that I'm used to, this is just like... Pure... Kick you in the tongue... Pineapple... Flavor. This is... This is... <laughs> This is, this is fucking good. This is so good. So, 
we're in the middle of nowhere, right? Pretty much. If if he wanted to murder me and dump my body here, <laughs> you could, and I you'd could. be able to get away with it. No, Antigua's too small. Antigua, okay, <laughs> okay. Everybody saw you left the hotel with me, so. <laughs> oh, so you, <laughs> all right, so you were just mentioning to me that this, this little, there's, there's no like poison here, no, right? No, I can walk no. through this? Yeah. Okay. Um, so this... I illegally pick one. You can pick one. But it's, it's, it makes the skin itch, so... Okay, okay, the outside of it does make the skin itch. Yeah. Okay, so... In the holidays... What is... This looks like kind of like a little red... Rose. Yeah. But what is, what is it? It's a sorrel. A sorrel. Sorrel, so S-O... S-O-R-E-L. S-O-R-R-E-L. You can see it's really the size of my eye. Right? Pretty much, yeah. And and uh, you what what so, is this used for? So since I already picked it, I'ma just explain with it. Okay. So in the Christmas time, uh -huh. we take these, we peel them, because there's like a seed a seed inside. Oh there's a seed inside. Yeah. So we peel these. Okay. Whoa, that looks really okay, whoa. All right. And then yeah, we peel these uh -huh. and we use the petals from the flower. Okay. You boil them in water. Okay. With essence and cinnamon and nutmeg if you like. Okay. And then when you boil it, it will turn red. You just add sugar, you let it cool, and you're good to go. This and is what we drink during the Christmas season most of the times. So what does it What does it taste like? Like it, it has a very like raspberry kind of raspberry. It has like a deep. A deep raspberry taste. Like. Are we able to do that right now, today? Can we well, do that today? Only if we steal a few of these. <laughs> All right, Antigua and Barbuda is pretty much over. Um, so, Antigua and Barbuda are two islands in the Caribbean, and unfortunately, Barbuda is too small to have like a major airport go into there. So you need to take a boat to go up to Barbuda. Unfortunately, the day that I booked, um, the ocean waters were like too intense for the boat to sail up to Barbuda. So I wasn't able to go up there, which is a real bummer because there's this like incredible looking like super puffy bird that's supposedly there. And there's a natural pink beach uh, that's up there, so I'm really bummed that I ended up missing out on that. Uh, final impressions of Antigua. Very beautiful country. Um, I really... Yeah. Final impressions of Antigua and Barbuda. The people here are generally very friendly. Um, surprisingly enough, I could actually see myself living in Antigua uh, in the future. You know, the, um, yes, there were touristy pockets about the island, but like as you travel around, it's like it definitely has its own culture that's manifested itself. Uh, like I said before, people are super friendly, absolutely lovely, lovely. I'm super bummed that I wasn't able to make it up to Barbuda to check out the naturally occurring pink sand beach. And um, yeah, so uh, I'm super, super grateful for everybody that I met here. Um, folks at the resort were great. I had a good first resort experience. Um, and yeah, I think I'll probably return to Antigua in the future, if anything to go north and uh, see the beach in Barbuda. So thank you so much, Antigua. Until next time.